Welcome to ChemHelp ASAP. We are going to talk about the stability of rings or the instability of rings and something surprising about cyclohexanes. So on the screen we have some different cyclohexanes written. We have cyclopropane, cyclobutane, cyclopentane, and cyclohexane. And if these were flat structures, and that's a big assumption, then they would have interior bond angles of 60 degrees for cyclopropane, 90 for cyclobutane, 108, we're talking about this bond angle right here, 108 for cyclopentane, and 120 for cyclohexane. Now these molecules all contain sp3 hybridized carbons, so we would expect the ideal angle for these to be 109.5, but based on their structure, they can't be 109.5. So therefore, we're going to have some strain energy in these molecules. And so we're going to list the total strain energies for these structures. Now, this total strain includes torsional strain, it can include steric strain, and include angle strain. And angle strain arises from deforming bond angles from what they want to be, from their ideal of 109.5. So let's see what these strain energies are. For uh, cyclopropane, we have a total strain energy of about 27.5 kcals per mole. Highly strained molecule, no surprise these bond angles are really compressed from their ideal value of 109.5. For cyclobutane, we have a strain energy of about the same, 26.3. So you could say, well, there's less deformation for each bond angle, but we have more angles that are strained. We have four compressed angles instead of three. Once we go to one, at cyclopentane, the strain energy goes way down, 6.2 kcals per mole. Now, when we go to cyclohexane, you would expect this number to go back up because these interior angles get now too big. So there's a new type of strain. It's, it's an overly extended angle. But as it turns out, it's not. Cyclohexanes have no strain energy. So this is a little bit of mystery, and, and the mystery comes arises because we assume that these molecules are flat. Cyclohexane is not flat at all. It actually has a distinct, different conformation. And so that's how it falls within this playlist. We have to talk about this special conformation of cyclohexane, and it is called a chair conformation, and that will be the topic for the next video.